and the SW Dipsy just fired. Yeah, this guy just came came to life. Oh man. Yeah. Okay, SW Dipsy's coming in. All right. Now it's time to get the net ready. No fish nick here. Today I'm going to go over the SWD, uh, the newest ways I tie it. Um, actually, this is uh, Rev 3, as I call it. Uh, I've done it several different ways, and this is the latest way that I do now, it. Um, in the old versions, I used some swivels and things like that. Where now I just use uh, knots. I use the Alberto knot. It's one of my favorite knots. I use it for bass and walleye fishing. It's just a real simple knot where you can, uh, once you learn it, it works really well and it goes through your guides really nice, a lot better than uh, Albright and stuff like that. And it's a lot simpler to tie in my opinion. I know uh, the SW Dipsy, uh, or some people call it the Spring Clip Dipsy. It's been a hot topic I've been seeing online. And um, I'm gonna, sh gonna show you the way I do it lately. Oh, and before I get any further, um, this is also another version um, I showed it on my KD video where uh, if if you don't want to go through doing a loop in your line you can always just do a, a braid to blade braid to your um, to your leader line and you can always uh, if you have this kind of clip with the pin in it you could always uh, just go right you can always just pin go past the pin on the clip and then wrap it around once and pass that pin again and that also works now the only downfall I see about this is that this clip is not going to cut the water as nice as this you know this is going to cut the water a lot better and this is just the S clip that we use hopefully you can see that the S-clip where it clips on and off your dipsy and it goes on the business end, the release end. There's nothing that goes on this side when you do a SW dipsy. That's it. Just this side. And um, a lot of guys I've seen comments where they just use like clips like this and put them on there. As long as the clip you can undo and on and off with your fingers, you know, you can utilize that system. But you just got to be careful when you let these out, make sure you're letting them out. And all, all these, when you let them out, you got to let them out under pressure. I use, I let them out under drag. You know, does it wear out my drag? Sure, it might after a while, but it doesn't matter to me. I, uh, I let them out under pressure so they work as they're supposed to. Now I am using these uh, deeper divers. I got them on Fish USA. Um, but I also done them with Lure Jensen. Uh, dipsy divers so I mean they all it still works and the release works on the fish you know um, if, if you set it a little tight though you, you might need to give it a little snap you know uh, and that's what I do when I take this out of the router I give it a little uh, just a little snap and it, and it releases all right I'm gonna try to make this video quick I know some of my videos get kind of long but I'm gonna hit you with a lot of information so This is the way I do it lately. What I do is uh, I've been using this, uh, and this isn't my idea. Actually, my friend uh, Mike Weatherwax, the guy that makes the Pound Town Tackle Flashers, he actually told me about this and gave me a couple samples to try, and I really liked it. It's basically using hollow core braided line, and I'm using 80 pound test, so it's tough. Um, and like I said, if you're using this for quite a while, uh, you want it to be tough. And plus, I've been seeing online people are losing their dipsies. Yeah, if you're uh, if you're using like 30 pound test, uh, let's say Power Pro, and you do and you do uh, um, just a, a loop knot at 30 pound test, Power Pro is so thin, and if this is shaking around, I, I suppose it could get by there. But I've never lost any. But I have seen where people have lost dipsies using this. But I haven't um, and I said if you use a, a heavier a heavier uh, line too it'll even work better and that's what I'm going to show you today I'm going to show you the way I do it lately what I'm using um, 
is a floral coat line for my leader. Like I would use 50 feet of this 25 pound test. And I'm actually gonna put it inside, I'm gonna put it inside of this uh, hollow cord braid. And in order to put it inside, I do have to use a special needle. This special needle is from Smitty's, and I'm using like the 80 pound test, 18 gauge needle. And what I do is I put my, uh, I put my, I put my leader line in the needle. It goes right inside the butt of the needle. If I can find the hole. My eyes are not as good as they used to be. There we go. And once my line's in the needle, I thread it through this stuff. It's just like kind of the sheath or that's around lead core line, basically the same stuff. And I just put it inside that line. I'm gonna pause the video here until I'm done. It takes me a little while. And I want to make sure I use enough of this where I can tie two Alberto knots. So I want to get about uh, about 18 inches. I want to put this through about 18 inches of this hollow core line and then a dropper loop in the middle. The dropper loop makes the nice loop that you connect the, the S-clip to. Just working this through this line. It takes a little while. Once you're done, I tried it without the needle. Ooh, not easy. The needle makes it so much easier. Once you get it going, you can really, you can really slide it. And what I do is I hold that, I hold the line in, and I really pull it forward, and we'll get it all built up on this needle. Like I said, I, I want to get about 20 inches of line. My fingers are kind of blue because I, I did one a little while ago with blue line. Like I said, I, I got different colors. Which is nice so you can see it on your spool like when you get to the loop you can actually see it because it's going to be uh you know a bigger line and it's a different color hopefully Whoop. sometimes it does break through so i gotta back that out it's just like lead core when you break a strand of lead in the sheath okay <clears throat> where it came out here it looks like it'll be plenty plenty long enough so i am just gonna come out with the needle there that mono needs to come out. Good, and it did. Here's the monofilament. Here's the needle, don't lose your needle. And we're gonna keep that. Oh yeah, that'll be plenty long enough. Actually, more than enough. Cut the hollow core. Okay, earlier in the video I said uh, about doing Alberto on each end. Actually, on this end, on the leader side, on the leader end, I'm going to do uh, two Willis knots in a row. I've done singles, but um, I've actually had this slippery line slide through this. Um, on a single Willis knot, so I'm going to go with two. I'm going to do two Willis knots, which is just two overhand knots. Yeah, I've done it a couple different ways. That's why earlier I mentioned I did El Alberto and then Alberto. I love that Alberto knot. It works better than an Albright, I think. Or it, uh, it's a lot simpler to tie. And you can tie it in the wind and out at sea. Once you start using it, it's really simple. But now this Willis knot super simple. But I have have had them slide through. So I'm going to do two of them in a row. So it, hopefully it won't slide. Okay, so all it is is an overhand knot with the 80 pound test here, but I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do another one. Right next to the first one.
this is the same Willis now I use on my lead course, but like I said, I, I have had them slide through, so I'm doing a double whammer. Because I don't want it to slide and collapse my dropper loop. I'm just going to put these two right next to each other. And I don't want it to slide. And it shouldn't, well not with two of them, it shouldn't slide on you. Okay, there we go. Okay, there's that. Now this is the business end, so I'm gonna go, like if I'm doing a 50 foot leader, I run out 50 feet, and that's my leader end. This is the um, the end going to the leader, two, two Willis knots. Now, I'm gonna do the dropper loop. This is really important. The dropper loop is really simple. All you do is put a loop in your line, Okay, all you do is put a, a big loop like this, okay. I'm going to do it kind of close up here. Okay, hopefully you can see this in the background. See there, uh, hopefully, I want to get this so you can see it. I'm going to tilt my camera down, hopefully you can see this. Okay, this is called a dropper loop. And all you do is these two, uh, you just fold your line over like that. And now we're going to the, the, the side with the two together, like by my fingers here, I'm going to roll. I'm going to roll one over a couple times through the other one. roll it around the other one a couple times okay and then uh, then you get this little separation and now you take this the top loop and send it right through that little separation you grab it like that okay and then you pull everything tight just like that now this is really important how big you want your loop so you kind of keep it, I don't want it too big, so I'm pulling on, pulling on the sides, but I don't want it too small either, so that looks about perfect actually. And you pull it tight, you pull everything tight at once here, and there we go, there's my dropper loop. And the mono is inside the line, so it's going to keep it nice and open and yet supple where you can reel it through your guides and reel it right into your reel. There's monofilament inside that, or, well, floral, floral coat. I use a floral coat line. Okay, there we go. Double Willis. Dropper. Loop. And now... On this end, this end is going to be um, Alberto, and I use this is my main line on my on my dipsies. This stuff works really good until the this stuff works really good until the water fleas come out. Sea fleas. So now I go more to uh, wire line, uh, where you can pull off the sea fleas a lot easier. And actually, uh, a lot of guys comment about me, or a lot of guys do do this on the wire line rods i don't i just uh i run my wire line rods with regular gypsies you know with the actual snubber and a leader but my leader is only six foot um for a meat rig or i might go to eight foot eight and a half feet for a spoon but uh just because uh, my wires go, go down deep i don't think it's as needed for the long line uh for the long leaders although now we're getting into uh, fall fishing I probably would, uh, you know, if I'm going to run like four dipsies, I probably would uh, put it on my wire even. Uh, or run, uh, anyway, because, uh, you know, you're getting into fall fishing where you're going to pull some J-plugs in shallow. And that, I want to get it away from the boat. So this is actually going to, um, this would benefit you on your wire too if you're going to run a wire line. And if you're going to do it on wire, uh, I've never done it, but I would just do a, a big surgeon's knot on your wire. And, and probably snap that onto your surgeon's loop, you know, 
and then uh, run your you'd have to run a, um, a swivel I guess or or you can do this maybe this knot anyway I don't run it on my wires but I definitely run it on my braids so right now we got my dropper loop double Willis on one end and now I'm just gonna do a braid braid to braid and I'm gonna do a Alberto I'm gonna use a stick line as my mono basically where all you do is you put a loop in this all you do is loop that you take your fort my in my case your braid line give yourself about 20 inches you got your drop your loop here all you do is you take your braid this is the Alberto knot it's really simple you come through it at you pull out about 10 inches maybe more 12 inches go back up and what I do is I kind of pinch everything together right there and now I put my hand where my little pinky can come into play and all I do is go around this thing like five times down five times up all I, same direction five times let's see two three four Okay, five times down and now come in the same direction now all you're doing is changing your uh, from down to up and now I just go up five times and you just keep them nice and neat all your loops nice and neat together you're making a Chinese finger that's what you're doing okay and even if you don't get five four will still work and like on this last one I'll go around one more time Like that and I'm gonna go back through towards like my leader spool back through like that change it all around okay that looks like it should work and you just pull that together you pull everything at the same time moisten it I just licked it give it some moisture and this braid should slide along these two I might help it a little see how I helped it just push it with my fingers just gonna push it along, push it along, push it along, and then there, and then pull everything really tight. Okay. All right. Now I cut off my tag ends. Sharp scissors. Make sure you cut the right side. I've done that before. Get it all done and cut the wrong side not fun the right side cut the right side and there we go okay now this braid is your main line you know that's coming off your rod and then we got the 80 pound test hollow core tough stuff we got the dropper loop and a double willis And as long as those double Willis's hold, you're good. If 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 these slip, your your loop's gonna go. <laughs> and I've done that before, so I do do the double Willis on that end, Alberto on that. Everything slides through your guides nice. And now you got a nice loop where, like I said, you can use this kind of clip on and off. You know, we can uh, hook it through. Wham on and off or like what I've been doing I I, I just still use my this uh, S clip right here okay it goes on and off you just slide it through that 80 pound test is really tough stuff it's not going to get out of there if you buy like this clip I got at Menards you get actually a bunch of them at once whatever they uh it works really good and that's the uh the newest Revised SW Dipsy. The well, actually, latest uh, revision of my SW Dipsy. Freaking fly. Anyway, um, this is it for today. NFN out.